All right, Mackenzie, a lot of people have been asking for a level two biology top tips video. Yeah. Um, what would you say in them? What, what sort of stuff should we include? I think a lot of it, um, there is a lot of crossover with like um, the other levels of bio. So I think like a lot of students could probably also look at the um, level three bio video and take some tips from that as well. Cool. Um, I think one of the biggest things was the command words that I talked about in that video and probably just breaking them down further for a lot of students. So it's looking at them individually. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I'll start us off. How about uh, explain, explain what comes yep. up every exam. Uh, what we're looking for here is that is that mechanical process. Yeah. Going through a step-by-step -step process from uh, and how we get from A to B. So for example, how we get to MR from mRNA mm. and how that ends up becoming a polypeptide chain. Yeah. Nothing fancy, just the process. Yeah, cool. Um, another one probably be um, discussed. I think this one's probably a lot more of like that excellence yeah, sort of section. Yep. It's where we're kind of like linking all of the concepts together um, mm. and relating them to each other, showing how it is a process and how um, they do share that relationship. Um, also just acknowledging the context of the question. Yeah, yeah, it's looking at yep. that bigger picture, awesome. Um, yep. Define, quick and easy, yep. short and sharp, let's know our definitions. Yep. And um, to answer this question, uh, one thing that works for me is looking at what it is structurally and what is functionally. So for example, uh, a gene is a set of ba uh, bases of DNA mm -hmm. and it codes for a specific trait. Yeah, so really having that structural and functional yep. in there. And I think um, describing is similar to defining, but again, um, linking it back into that context of the question and perhaps a little bit more of like how how it functions. Structure function sort of thing. Structure awesome, function, awesome, yeah. Awesome. yeah. Uh, last one, compare and contrast. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at here is that they're not gonna give us this question unless there's similarities and yeah, differences definitely. between the two, right? So yeah. um, for example, if the question's asking us to compare between DNA and RNA, mm -hmm. um, let's use connective words to, to, to make this up. Let's say, yeah. uh, uh, DNA is a double strand, whereas mRNA is a single strand. Yeah, definitely, and yeah, it's just drawing those comparisons. Yeah, so um, I guess the next bit would be, maybe should we talk about something like a top tip from each of us? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Um, I'll start us off, a uh, big one, big one that I think is really important is asking those why and how questions. Yeah. So a uh, great way is using explanation maps. We're really looking at the bigger picture here. and this. This whole paper, all, all three papers, are about understanding how the process is linked together. We're not learning about DNA replication for no reason, we're learning about it because it ties into mutations, because yeah. it ties into genetic expression and genetic variation as a whole when that produces that phenotype. So really asking those questions helps us to find those, those holes in our knowledge. Yeah, so it's not just what, it's you know why and how. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, I think my one would probably link into yours um, quite quite well. It's um, you know just organising all your knowledge that you have because these three standards, there's a lot of stuff in each of them. There's some crossover between them, um, and I think sometimes you need to take a step back and look at what goes with where. And there are like overarching topics um, within each of the standards. So you know, if, take for example something like um, the central dogma. That's you know the translation transcri yeah. transcription. Um, that comes under protein synthesis, you yeah, know, which is yeah, incredibly important. Um, but it's, it's good to know what, what sort of fits in with where and what kind of other interrelated concepts you'd need to when you do have to end up discussing them. Great, and that's really important for tying it into uh, the question itself, right? So yeah. they're not going to ask us about uh, queen bees and rural jelly if it's not important yeah, in exactly. some way. So we've got to really uh, tie our answers into that ultimate question yeah. of how it applies to real life. Yeah. I think that's it. What else? Oh, finish it off. Um, uh, probably check out our other video as well. On the Study Time website, mm. as well as the walkthrough guides and the checklists. Yeah, for level definitely. Five. I think that's it. Should, cool. we, should we go get Siren? Yeah, let's go get him. Yeah, um, okay. Oh. Hi.